Hello, it's Monday the 5th. I'm FX Pluer and this is the Market Brief. So the UK is the only country in the whole of the G20 where the economy is still smaller than it was pre-pandemic. Uh, the UK economy is 0.5% smaller than it was way back in 2019. Now, far be it for me to cast aspersions here, but the UK is also the only country in the whole of the G20 to have left the EU. Larry Summers was on last week. He's the Treasury Secretary back from the Clinton era and he joined the dots. He thinks it, uh, that Brexit was an historic error and he believes it's highly unlikely that the UK government will avoid a recession before the next general election. Um, the Sunak leadership will need better economic performance to provide any real chance of retaining uh, power. But the Bank of England remains under pressure to continue taking interest rates higher, which, as we know, could very easily take the economy into a recession. Tough times. Uh, on a lighter note, we had non-farm payrolls on Friday. Uh, another very strong turnout for the sweepstakes, so thank you all for playing along. Um, Currency transfer had a home win this time around. Nico Pocard took the top spot. Uh, forecast was for 190,000 new jobs. So I thought his bid of 344 was ridiculously bullish. But didn't I have egg on my face when the data came out? Uh, another bump a month, 339,000 new jobs created. Um, and just like United at the weekend, it's a tough watch when somebody else so close lifts the trophy. But hey-ho, it was a nice reminder about how, why we play the game. Forecast was for 190,000 and 339,000 new jobs were created. It's complete guesswork. So... If you're like me and you haven't had a sniff at the top step for months, your m luck may change next month. Guess work makes the best work. Um, that strong reading prompted JP Morgan CEO to suggest that the Fed will raise interest rates to at least 5.5% before any pause. And it'll be interesting to see what happens here. On one hand, the Fed claims to be data driven um, and the data does support further rate hikes. On the other hand, though, there is significant expectation now that the Fed will pause uh, their rate tightening cycle at the next meeting. Um, we will have had the May inflation data out by then, so uh, that may add weight to the payrolls data. And remember, Powell remains very focused on the fight against inflation, even where some of his colleagues may have started to get cold feet. Um, I'd say there's still plenty to play for there. Uh, the debt ceiling was lifted last week, so the federal government won't run out of money now. Um, and there is absolutely no chance of a default on US debt. Not yet, anyway. Uh, despite the strong employment report, the, uh, the dollar gave up some ground and the dollar index fell to a low of 103.40. Uh, that's as sterling touched a high of 125.45 against the dollar. Uh, we kick off the new week from 124.35 against the dollar. We're about 116.20 against the euro and the euro dollar is around the 107 mark on the open. That's it from me. Join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.